Hey guys, this is Bruno Casero here. Today I'm going to explain how the malware simulator tool works. So let's say you are infected by a new hamster. Let's say WannaCry version 2 or 3. Typically, hamsters they are going to try to find the areas in your local systems and also in your network where the current user has access to modify the data okay so the hands is going to go to the folders it's going to delete or encrypt some of my files so the malware simulator is actually trying to look in your local system and also in your network and it's going to try to create a new file it's going to try to create a new file called malware simulator txt and then it's going to try to delete the file right away okay so the idea is if you are able to create a new file and also delete the file it means that a, a new answer will be able to do the same thing and then it's going to give you a log where you can see all of the affected areas so you can you know see if you need to improve your permissions or the access controls that you have in your uh, in place to your network okay so first just download the malware simulator folder and copy to your local system after that open command prompt go to the folder and then just run malware simulator dash eight so this is all of the acceptable parameters as you can see it's going to take two parameters basically dash local system or dash network another parameter is the dash evidence if you use the dash evidence the the tool is going to create the file the malware simulator txt and it's going to leave the file there okay in your local systems or in your network according to your selection um so let me just go here and run malware simulator exe dash network dash evidence so i wanted to leave the evidence files in the folders so after it's completed you can see here the totals all of the total vulnerable areas all of the protect areas uh, and then you can also see this in the log file so in the in the folder where you run the tool it's going to create this malware simulator network dot log just open it and then here you can see for instance hey i found a vulnerable folder this is the backup then i found another vulnerable folder here and some other folders the access has been denied so if you go here to the proxy granular dash backup as you can see we found the malware similar txt file here in this share so you can open so you can see the contents okay if you do the same thing however you don't use the evidence parameter so let's say malware simulator dash network you should see that the malware simulator txt file is going to be is going to be deleted okay so this is the this is the network parameter you can also use malware simulator dash local system and then it's going to try to do the same thing but in your local folders also it's going to create another log file called malware simulator local system dot log all right so that's it this is a free tool hope you guys enjoy it